What's up, you guys? What's up, what's your nigga? Look at the thing. He don't even look at that. What up, Teddy? Hey, uh, what's up? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, man. Y'all good? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we, you got you, Chris. Yes, yeah, sir. What's good with you, man? You got, you got family in town, Chris? Man, I'm actually out in, in San Antonio, man. Oh, snap. You went back yeah. to the crib. Oh, you can't reach it? Yeah, man. I was out in Houston. Now I'm, I'm out here in San Antonio seeing my brother and my little nephew. Okay. How long are you going to be there for? Uh, I'll probably be here. I was here for the weekend, so I'll probably leave in the morning, tomorrow morning. Okay. Damn. Yes, sir. Craig, Craig you know, travels, bro. What's up with that hair, Craig? Is that your hat or is that your hair? Uh-oh. No, nah, this is a beanie. Oh. Yeah, it's a beanie, man. What's wrong with your hair right now? Because it looks like your hair is in a ponytail. <laughs> That's not the case, though, right? You don't got a ponytail, do you? Hell no, nah, man. Oh, it looks like you got a ponytail, nigga. That's funny as <laughs> fuck. <laughs> there's the real, there's like, the real laugh. Like you and Pat switch positions, nigga. <laughs> he was laughing like Spice Sounds at first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Spice Adams be laughing like me, nigga. There it is. There it is. He's a football player, man. I'm a comedian, man. I love him, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he dope as fuck. What's up, Teddy? What's up, Craig? Oh, man, chilling, trying to be like you. Stop it, bro. You out here. You you the man now, nigga. I see you open up a Twitch account just to make bologna sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I gotta I gotta pay for this necklace with a St. Bernard tooth, man. I'm making payments on it. <laughs> Expensive custom jewelry, man. <laughs> Let's talk about Pat's glow up though. This nigga yeah. this bad bitch. <laughs> yeah. This shit on point, yeah, yeah. It's hot, so it's hot. And hey, you did it's that on hot. purpose. You did it like that to kind of clown the niggas who buy that, who's gonna be buying that that wig, right? Did you do yours like no. that on purpose? <laughs> no, no, nah. because it looks like that wig. You know what I'm talking about? The wig that everybody's on right now. Yeah, Kevin, get one. The one oh, that Kevin wore. Nah, there was only two openings where like. People who twist hair, it opened up because of COVID, and I missed the first one, and I was like, I can't keep doing this. this is- I blame it on that. Your hair looked like that well before COVID happened. Shut uh-huh. up. What's your excuse? <laughs> hey, that shit is spicy. What you what you pay for that? About two, three hundred every time you get that done? Nah, like eighty. God, that's still pricey. Damn. Yeah. Oh, that's about like cancer patient, nigga. But I, I tipped them. That nigga Pat out here looking like thought dollar sign. <laughs> I haven't gotten it down in a long ass time though. Pat, you like like when your hair is like this, I can you have a really big forehead. I've always had a big ass forehead. I know, but I feel like you were using you the, the new growth as bangs. Like you was letting it grow out and then just like pushing it down so that we can tell you had a big forehead. forehead. Yeah, th- you did this number and it was and it worked. What do you do? Who was that? Oh, <laughs> What's up, Sosa? <laughs> oh. I don't have a manager scoop. Sosa. <laughs> I just have to cascade down on the, the, the one side. Cascade? Yeah, yeah. I have a cascade. Mm. You feel me? All right. I mean, oh, yeah. so. You done, Meg? Go like this. Let me see. I'm, I, I yeah. just need to. I just want to see ever your scalp. Like, I never get to see it. Ever, ever since you had a, your baby, you had, wear your hair like a secretary. <laughs> you wear your hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a secretary wearing my hair like this. <laughs> That's cute. This is cute. Shut up. <laughs> Let me see your scalp for real, though. I want to see the design. Oh, it's not the design. Oh, I thought you had it like design too. Okay. No, nah, it's just party. But I'm, I'm just excited because you know I reintroduced my, myself to my scalp. Okay, Pat. Wow. The Pat, last you time you leave. did this, the next couple of days after your hair was back looking hella it's terrible. Hot. It's already frizzing <laughs> up. It's hot as hell. <laughs> no, I'm saying you would like undo it because you. I don't know why, but you would undo it for some reason. So you're not gonna do that this time. Nah, he like he like he liked the energy he got from that picture he posted. He was posting that video and glowing up like he was like he got a brand new bag. I was like, this nigga okay. like different already. Yeah, yeah. Pat, Pat. It had that same effect so, when little mama took her makeup off and everybody was like, oh, she kind of cute. Like, yeah, this <laughs> <laughs> you look like little Bow Wow. Yeah. You sure <laughs> look like little Bow Wow. Little mama looked like little Bow Wow in the sky. 
That's Wait, Craig, funny. you kind of look like you have a ponytail. Turn to the side. Nah, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's what I thought that was. I thought that the little ball at the top was a ponytail. Man, nah, man. I this make nigga's it. wearing an abortion beanie. I said an Man. abortion baby. What? <laughs> hey, where are you? It's like nine. It's like nine. Abortion clinic. I'm in the house. I, I got the air conditioning on, man, in my crib, man. The air you cold, conditioning. You cold right now? I be I, I sleep cold and hot, man. So I be yeah, cold and hot in the house. And that man. explains the beanie and a jersey. Yeah, yeah, man. The dare what a, jersey. Yeah. What it, what it does keep, explain keep is why you oh, got. Oh, that's that. hard. I fucks with that. Why you got yeah. twelve feet of duct tape around that microphone? <laughs> 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 hey, let me see. Fuck you, man. <laughs> and they're killing me right now. <laughs> Decorated at least. Put some rhymes on it or something. Inspect the uh, gadget microphone. That nigga's holding it on. Let uh, it go, Craig. You got that bread. Get a new one. If you don't take that Girl. mink, that mink wig off your head to here, that shit looks so velvety and black on you. <laughs> That's and a Greg, you look like you got a microphone <laughs> to a shotgun. <laughs> 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 that's funny to the moment. <laughs> Fuck that, man. That's crazy. Nigga got that microphone duct tape. I do, man. Yeah. What you got records? You sitting in between records? What you got back there, Miles Davis? I got a little bit of everything, man. To hear always yeah. making little subliminal statements about how fresh he is. He don't say it, but it just be yeah. shit around him. Like I'm a fresh. <laughs> Those are all those are all recipe vinyls. That nigga got a. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, that's, mac, that's mac and cheese volume one through six. <laughs> <laughs> that whole section is egg full young right there. <laughs> the nigga's still jealous. I got it. <laughs> I love that about to hear, man. You gotta pay attention because some niggas is fly and they don't say it. like to hear got like a cabinet full of twenty four karat coffee cups, nigga. Just he got just just, just random that, flyness that, everywhere, that, man. That, that, <laughs> Uh, you probably sitting on the bitch's lap right now doing this shit to here, ain't you? Three of them. It's a here so really still. Hey, don't let this nigga fool you, Craig. This nigga to here house sitting for Felicia Rashad. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he been trying on all her ballerina shoes too. <laughs> Nigga in the closet trying on everything. <laughs> For a while, man. I love, I love to hear, man. That's a fresh motherfucker, man. I'm telling you. I don't understand how fresh to is, man. It's on another level, man. I appreciate it, Craig. Teddy, fuck yeah. you. <laughs> I mean, I, that was a compliment. Lisa was shot. You got the taste of a, of a 72-year-old black woman. <laughs> That's, that's, that's the highest compliment I could ever give. She, the, she, she the baddest black woman to ever be on TV. Oh, Nigga, and, and she's and still them. fine to this and day. Them. Yeah, she and is. She is, a, she is. Her and Maya Campbell, but Maya Campbell, you know, I want to speak on that. Hope. Word. Don't do her like that. Don't do her like that. Maya, Maya Campbell was beautiful in it, man. Before you know, she was a monster, bro. Y'all don't, don't think she was gorgeous back in the day? She she's was, still yeah. gorgeous. She's just going through some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you know. That ain't stopped moving his head since he got his hair done. That nigga, every, every yeah, he minute, just... this nigga's doing this. Every two minutes. Be still, little mama. We still. <laughs> you really look like Jesus now. Who, me? Yeah, you ain't been still since you got on camera, Pat. You keep I'm still as hell. What are you talking about? Right now, Pat, every, every couple minutes, you do this. Yeah, he chose a corner. <laughs> Hilarious. That nigga got to pick a pose. Uh, take your shades off. <laughs> Why are you wearing shades indoors, you cop? <laughs> <laughs> That's your rebuttal, you cop? <laughs> I think it's going to work. Six? That, that nigga's the fashion, police. He's the fashion police. He's the fashion police. Hey, that man's police ass glasses here. <laughs> that nigga just wrote a nigga ticket for wearing Jinko jeans, the fashion police. <laughs> he deserves it. That nigga deserved it, dude. Wow. How about that? Is that better? Hey, man. Uh, now you look like a guest pastor. Hey. <laughs> but nigga, shut up and don't like you using the shades off to find your reading glasses. Hey. <laughs> nigga, you you in everybody's grandma's bedroom right now. I can tell with that dresser behind you, nigga. You in somebody's grandma's room right now. <laughs> yeah, because the dresser was here before I got here, and I was like, I'm not finna move it, nigga. Uh, I'm finna utilize it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was somebody's grandma room. You right? You <laughs> right. Even every to your video, I smell white diamonds in the air, nigga. I know that's <laughs> to hear built like the thumb of the greatest thumb wrestler of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> For real, the greatest thumb wrestler. <laughs> he basically said, "I'm built like care." <laughs> Ain't nobody built like Kev, but Kev, man. Not nah, fuck that. <laughs> Kev Ooh. built like Kev. Kev built like Kev. <laughs> Are we live? Are we on air? No, nah, we're not live. We just oh. record We record this one. Oh, there's some uh, gas happening right oh, now. Oh, I thought we was about to go live, bro. I'm smoking and shit. Teddy, don't act like this the first time you've been Teddy on. Teddy, only smoke on camera. <laughs> <laughs> So we're not going live on this episode? <laughs> no, nah, we're just recording. I'm recording, though. We did oh, okay, recording. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We always record. No, I can say be acting bad when I, when, I, when I smoke on Zoom. I'll be like, I'm in the garage. I'm like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the garage. So, so I, what I, is this I, I, lighting, I, 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 Chris? What is this lighting that you have? Because it's just the ring light, only you know, twenty five dollars in. That's how I say it's not really good. Only fans. Yeah. 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 Only fans. Twenty five dollars, man. Just invest, invest in one, man. You know what I mean? It looks like, like don't look nothing like that. I mean, nah. the only thing he's going to start investing in hormones. <laughs> Chris also do all Mr. Guy jokes, uh, all his stunts. <laughs> 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 that nigga got a, oh, that nigga, oh, man. Man. he got a nose light. This only lighting up his nose, man. What the fuck yeah. kind of light? <laughs> man. This is like a, a 90s B2K video right now. Yeah. Late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, that nigga look like <laughs> smash <laughs> that like button. Oh wow! <laughs> you just drink I'm out of. I'm just here. I'm just here to make the crew look good. You know what I mean? That's all it is. I'm just bringing. You're here to give away some iPhones. Why are they doing us a, us a service? Like, the Roman. Uh, hey, Teddy, a I'm Roman. doing you a great service. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, this is a good place to get it started, man. We're gonna get right into this first topic right after this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's to hear more. I want to let you know that this episode of Squadcast is sponsored in part by Blue Chew. Now, let's talk about something that we could all use a little more of. I know what you're thinking it is, and you're right. Sex. But not just good sex. We're talking great sex. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've just been sitting around the house. I ain't really feel like doing much of anything until I pop a Blue Chew. And then... I'm ready to get the party started. Not even go hold you. Let's get it going. And that's because Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You can take them anytime, day and night, even on a full stomach. And because they're chewable, they start working up to twice as fast so you can be ready whenever the situation arises. I know I am. Listen, Blue Chew is made in the USA and it's prescribed online by licensed physicians. Do you know what that means? It means a couple things. Number one, no more awkward trips to the doctor's office. You're welcome, okay? And because it's made in the USA and it ships directly to you, it's cheaper than going to the pharmacy. So no more awkward lines at the pharmacy either. This is a win-win, guys. It ships directly to you in a discreet box. Nobody even knows what's going on. This is... Strictly on the hush hush. All right, and we got a special deal for all our listeners right now. All you have to do is check out bluechew.com. That's right. Head over to bluechew.com. Blue like the color blue. B L U E C H E W dot com. Use our promo code squad and you will get your first order completely for free. That's right. It is free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. Come on. I know you want in on this. Get in on this. Head over to bluechew.com right now. Enter our promo code SQUAD, that's S-Q-U-A-D-D, and get your first order completely for free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. You're welcome. Listen, Blue Chew is the better, cheaper, faster choice, all right? So we thank them so much for supporting our podcast. And remember, when you support our sponsors... That supports and makes our podcast possible. So again, big shouts out to Blue Chew. Make sure you head over to BlueChew.com right now. Use our promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and get your free order today. Just pay $5 for shipping. Peace. First topic of the day, what's worse? 
your best friend dating your ex, or your parent dating a rapper? <laughs> <laughs> parent best friend on the ex? ex? On the ex. Oh, sorry, yeah, best friend on the ex, yeah. Yeah. Which uh, one? Why? Yeah. <laughs> That's just cold, bro. You, you 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 don't do that. You know what I mean? What if, but wait, what if your mom was dating like what's his name, Young Boy NBA? Oh, I'd be devastated. <laughs> hey, I'd be hurt. Why'd you say that nigga? I don't know. Plus, he a rapper. And, and so that was, dude. Was, 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 my mama was, want Curtis Blow, Wonder nah. Mike. Right. Nah, right. your mama. DMC. She wants somebody in her. Your mama want a young Thundercat, and he gonna be mad, disrespectful to her and you. He gonna come in your house. He younger than you, calling <laughs> you a little nigga, telling you to get out of his house because he gonna buy uh, all his furniture. I mean, I, I, I would at least know that he would, you know, my mom would be protected. Like, this dude's not afraid of Mayweather. Like, this dude uh, uh, talks uh, shit about Mayweather, saying, uh, like, fuck you. I'm he talks shit doctor. about Mayweather <laughs> over a phone, Chris. He didn't say yeah. Mayweather's face. NBA, right. NBA anybody can boy. say some shit over the phone. I'll say over Zoom, I'll beat the shit out of Mike Tyson. If that nigga sees this, I'm like, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was Rito <laughs> NBA young boy looked like Saudi <laughs> <was> Pippen. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for me, it would have to be not the rapper, but what was the other choice? My bad. Your ex dating your best friend. I mean, your best friend dating your ex. Okay, yeah, yeah. It would have to be my best friend dating my ex. Because then I ain't got no more best friend, Mike. Yeah, you only got one best friend. Can't make friend. that move. Yeah, All right. you know. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Oh, you, you would rather you call and be a young boy your dad than oh, <laughs> your best friend dating dad. your ex? Y'all are saying hey, I didn't call my stepdad. <laughs> I'm saying the rapper thing's better. I would be more I'm disappointed. It's, better. If, if, it's if, just go ahead. Listen, I, w- I would be more disappointed if my mom was dating a whack rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody who had no bars, no skills. That would that would that would devastate me more than just it being a rapper. You what hey, so like, your mama rolling up Lil Pump's blunts? How you feel? Man, I'm gonna kill everybody in the room. That's what the right. fuck That's is right. going on in here, mama? Yeah, nah, that, nigga, that nigga come in the house with two racks of hundreds like this. You gonna be like, oh, <laughs> you <don't." laughs> Hey, That's crazy. Cause my mom is seventy, so what if it look? <laughs> <laughs> Who will make a nigga right. holler at my mom, man? Hey, <laughs> hey, ain't that nothing but a couple, man. Hey, right. You come in the house and he's sitting on her walker. He got his feet kicked up on the walker. She stuck in the house. She got all slots. It's mad disrespectful. <laughs> Hey, where would they meet at, though? I'm trying to figure out, <laughs> like, what type of shit do they do similar Denny's. for them? They, everybody <laughs> like Denny. Yeah. What, what if your best friend was dating your ex-girl and he hooked your mom up with NBA Young? Uh, <laughs> oh, that would be oh, everybody got to die. <laughs> everybody, man. It's a villain. And I'm that killing shot up a whole house in my head. Yeah, that's but crazy. Wait, what if it's an ex that you don't like? Like it wasn't the ex that you was in love with. It was That's just the ex. Yeah. I'm still in love with every woman I ever been with. That love don't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> love don't. I'm here to tell you, don't go nowhere. <laughs> hey, Greg, hey, bro. Hey, once you was with me, out. you was always with me. You're yeah. Like, well, great, nigga. Man, and people be lying when they be like they I fall out of love. You ever seen somebody you ain't seen in freaking fifteen years? And like, damn, I still got feelings for this mother. You know. I, you I've just love everybody, oh, yeah, everybody. Guy, you just love with them all. Once I tell you I love you, it's forever. It ain't never gonna stop. <laughs> I wish I could stop it, it, it but it's it, unconditional. I've been trying to stop it for a long time. I've been writing letters to myself, and all, <laughs> but it don't work. Is the most romantic. That's <laughs> a Nova. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. You, you know, like a psycho that and love still love your exes. Too, so you know, he uses like wax, <laughs> like he writes letters and wax stamps it and sends it off to his <laughs> I just had a seance to tell a dead bitch I was fucking with. I still love her. Like two, three days ago. <laughs> Friend, why well, I feel like you hiding out in the bitch house right now, waiting for her to get off work? Hold <laughs> on, oh, no. you don't know that. <laughs> Nah, she, nah, her son. Well, I'm actually babysitting her son while she at work, so she'll be back and I go to my own crib. That's probably why you got all those exes, Craig, because you still was in love with the previous one, and these girls is not having it. You really be falling out of love with people, or you just don't love them as much as you used to? No, well, here's you know, the you thing. Still I realize, love somebody, you just can't you like, can, like them yeah, anymore. You can have love for somebody yeah. you love and not be in love with them anymore, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't want nobody I used to talk to to die. But I, I like. I also am not going to intervene if that's what God so fit for their life. Then I, who am I? Wow! Not gonna, 
So you will let your ex get hit by a train? What am I going to do? Push out of the way and take the hit? No. No. <laughs> that ain't God's plan. No, just right, push right. her and you get out the way too, bro. You How have fast do you think I am, Chris? You right. He got a whole body shaped like a barrel. He is not nigga. moving nowhere. Honestly bro, honestly, bro, I feel like you can eat that train, bro, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> right. hey, bro, I feel like you can eat that up. <laughs> that big bison back you got. If that, if that was about to happen, the, the standbys wouldn't look at Tahir like, are you going to do something? Like, he's not going to throw off the scene. No one's looking at yeah. Tahir like, well, go. Like, yeah. no. <laughs> Tahir can, like, drop kick the, the bitch in the back. She can give a running drop kick. You think he can kick yeah, his leg up that high? <laughs> Y'all Meg just physics? killed you off, man. I was for you. Hear what she said? <laughs> what, what Meg say? He said you she think can... that here can kick his leg that high? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's not kicking nobody. <laughs> By the time to hear jump, the train passed already. (laughs) (laughs) He's not wrong. Both of them make very good points. Then there's a little thing called physics. If I push her out the way and I'm in her spot, now I get hit by the train. No, that ain't what. That's why you drop kick her. You gotta, you gotta dive. You gotta gotta drop kick her and push the force while y'all force bow. Drop kick. Right. And to hear you are shaped like a barrel, just roll. Roll, roll, roll it out. Just Shut put up, her in the sleeper. Oh, that'll be hard too, like Donkey Kong. Just yeah. put her in the sleeper and lay her how across did, the track. How did this get on me? No, no, this ain't. No, I don't even know how we got built like the short Pringles can. And, 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 <laughs> the short one. <laughs> the short one. That nigga Chris wouldn't be able to do it because he'd be too busy putting no chapstick before he tried to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way. I think uh, if you do it all day, be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm stretching. <laughs> <laughs> stretching. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> How'd we get here? Oh, yeah. Rappers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a long way from rappers. Women dying on train tracks. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't. I, yeah, I don't know. I can't see no rapper. But it, 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 it seems like it What if it was your favorite rapper? Not a weak rapper. Your favorite rapper. Uh. That Even makes my Jay Z just Jay Z piping your mama. Doesn't that make <laughs> but, it better? But what, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, it seems like y'all are actually towards that uh, y'all will be okay with your ex dating. I mean, uh, your best friend. Hey, I don't, I don't. I don't. <laughs> well, here's the thing: if she's the ex, I ain't really tripping off of that. Like I said, I don't want nothing bad to happen. But I ain't really caring about her day to days. And he, if he was my best friend and he did something like that. Then he's no longer my best friend either. So I killed two birds with one stone. Now I ain't got. A, I ain't got. I got two birthdays. I don't never have to worry about. But what if y'all? Uh, what if y'all talk about it though? Talk about what if he tells funny? you like, "Hey, I've been feeling your ex. So I wanted to come to you, Playboy. Ask you like, are you good with it? Oh, that God, that happened to me. That happened to me. I was fine with it. Really? You don't like one no girls for real. No hey, you ain't in smashed. love with nobody. Well, neither of us. I, I, it wasn't like a love thing with me and her, and it wasn't a love thing with them two. It was just like it everybody was just, just fucking. That's different. That's different. Oh, no, but I was. It was my ex. The streets. That that's a whole different thing. They so you me. never loved your ex. That has nothing to do with this. That's not the question. It said best friend with your ex, and that has happened. No, it is the different. question because now we got deeper problems. You don't love people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, no, I didn't. No, I didn't love her. I, I don't know how I would feel if, if I loved her, but still, it's like. As, as far as the question goes, that's happened. That's fine. We gotta hide the stakes, though. We gotta hide the stakes. Like this was the love of your life. You, you, you guys were engaged. Y'all were about to get married, and it some it broke off. Whatever. I don't even think you got. I don't even. I don't even think you gotta that's be hiding like that to, to the to the marriage point. I think once love once a dude says he loves her, and it's not in the middle of sex, and he's established that he really cares about her, then it's different. Right. The thing is when. You, uh, an ex means you thought you could do better than me. You know what I'm saying? And then the best friends dating your ex means I think I'm better than you for her. Hey, that, this is a jealous ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, isn't breaking up meaning I think I could do better than you? you no, do it, do doesn't, it doesn't I necessarily mean I, I think I could do better. Breaking up means that we might not be the best for each other. And you, yeah. you toxic as hell if you think that. <laughs> 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 it's over. I'm, oh, so you think you could do better than me? You think you could? Yeah. You, <laughs> <laughs> no, I said it's over. So you find you, you found somebody better. Okay. So no so life going in the right direction, huh? Right. <laughs> so you've you've left somebody who was just incredible. Like this motherfucker has everything, and you just left him. Hell yeah! 
my last ex. She's cool. Yeah. I just bounce though. Do you like this bitch is incredible, but I got to go. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he ain't saying everything, Chris. It's some other shit Listen, missing out, but it, 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 it could be a really good person, just not good for you. I just got hit with one of these. Okay. <laughs> They could be a really yeah. good person, just not good for you. Oh, yeah, I or agree. you don't want to fuck their life over because you know you going in one direction and you like, man, she good people. So I'm going to go exactly. ahead and put that fish back in the water, man. Let somebody yeah, else turn her right. And then your best friend pick her up. That's foul. That is foul. <laughs> that is foul. But it's also the fact that your mama, like your mama dating a rapper, like literally dancing at, on the tables at Noble while this nigga uh. throw 20s at her. That's what I'm saying. Y'all are trying now, to. I don't me. know because my my mama got a history of fucking with toxic niggas. I would feel some type of way. Really? Really? Yeah. It's just it's just either you're sharing his album or you're not. Meg, we. I just won't promote his music. Yeah. Wait, what? If, what if it is your favorite rapper and you like? Oh my gosh! Like Jay Z is my new stepdaddy. I would yeah, never oh, say that. Yeah, yeah. If Jay Cole, <laughs> my, my stepdad, like, yo, pull up. Let's go. Let's go play catch. That's well, what I'm say, saying. Hey, oh, you, you, guys back trying, so, you guys are trying so hard to make this ex ex girlfriend boyfriend thing with your best friend work. It's your mom. This yeah. is your mother that is being and piped by a rapper. No, your mother man. being piped down. What's by wrong by with that? Patch. No, she, you mom, saw what it did bro, for Quincy. But but it, it, it's worse when your mom. For Quincy, he ain't called out his short daddy since he was five. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's true. Huh? That's oh, Quincy. Uh, then he stepped up, became that nigga daddy, and now well, we, we grown now. We grown. Quincy was five years old. We talk about grown ass Teddy right now. Your mama fucking with Project Pat. <laughs> he taking Why her. Why gotta be Project Pat? They smoking that? her out in the back Ooh. of the Camino. Not and even inside, they're literally in the bed. I was jumping yeah. in the project. Yeah. He and it don't have no rhino lining. It's just yeah. raw literally El Camino. in the bed. back of an El Camino, <laughs> smoking your mama out. While these niggas tell, they showing off they, they Grammy. And rappers know, they tell you what they do in their songs. No way. Had your mama in the elco. <laughs> okay, no, Get no. Get through with the elbow. Nope. Nope, no. Uh, have, you, have you ever knocked down a mom? Of course. Who has it? You, yeah. do music, you do music, Pat. How do you think kids feel about uh, uh, their mom, uh, you, you piping down their mom? And they know. They know when you come over after 9.30, what you dad to do with their mama. I mean, they're oh, usually younger. Got the clouds here. <laughs> hey, younger. bro. It's not like an 18-year-old gets home, like, what up, cloud? Like, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> Pat be piping down all all his fans' parents too. Like they, uh, they you walk in, they be like, I was just about to say that. They thought they didn't want something, then Pat goes straight into their mama bedroom. Just, just. <laughs> I don't see why y'all don't. And Pat a rapper too. This all makes sense. That's why he's trying to go for the whole ex thing. That's never happened. That's never happened. <laughs> yeah, that does make sense to you. Pat, you ain't never had the kids in one room and you getting head in the living room quietly. I have. See? We all have. <laughs> and you keep watching over. You on the couch just keep watching over waiting for the, that, door sure that door to crack. What does that, that have to do with anything, open. though? What does that have to do with anything? You were the rapper piping down somebody's mama. How did we get here? That, that has nothing to do. I'm talking, about to you, I'm talking about you at this age walking into your mother's room and seeing future. <laughs> That's true. I'll be you know he gonna be disrespectful too. <laughs> he gonna come out singing, "I just fuck your bitch in some Gucci flip flops," and you know that bitch is your mama. That the bitches he's referring to. Oh yeah, I'm, you I'm, have I'm, to fight. Yeah, I'm I think with my mom, I like I'll just break it down to her. You know what I mean? Let everybody let her know everything about future. You know what I mean? How? You but what if she wants? What if she's like Lori Harvey and she don't care and she want to have future's tenth child? And that be your sibling. Your mom, yo, he just dropped a Lambo truck and an Audemars off to your mama house. You think you go, whatever you got to say, gonna hold any type of weight against what this thing got? No. no. The, the, nigga land, the nigga land the pipe always got the last word, so. <laughs> you might as well just get your bus down. Because your mama yeah. finna be bus down. Come out of the room, look at you and be like, sensational. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but think about it. If Future is giving your mom all this stuff, you don't think she gonna let you drive her nice car or wear that watch? No, no. no my mama, my mama, my mama, yeah. She ain't gonna let me drive that Lambo truck. 
Only, yeah. only man allowed to have sex with my mom is God. That's the only person that I'm allowed. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> else, I'm catching a body, man. Just completely unreasonable. Hey, I'm unreasonable with my mama, man. God, I mean, he gave me, maybe he can get my mom one. So if he if he want her, he can have her. But everybody else, nah, man. I can't do it, man. So you don't let your mama have moments where she feel good? Hell no, she can only be a mama if she's not fixing jelly sandwiches and cheese toast and 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 you know doing what mamas do. She can't do nothing. Else. I don't want to. Your stop. mom is definitely you smashing out a rapper then because you over here thinking <laughs> yeah. your mama gonna, <laughs> had you with immaculate conception. I'm gonna I'm a I'm gonna abuse her son. So what can I say? <laughs> Your mom would have to be like a rapper. Beef. She's no. only making mac and cheese and peanut butter and jelly, bro. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> no. It's got, Get your ass back in the kitchen, mom. It's it's got to be a rapper that's. That's KRS One's age and up. It can't That's be. That's what I was about to say. It's probably Kumo D or something. Uh, yeah, it's got to wow. be cool. Yeah, I used to yeah. go downtown. It's got to be one of the niggas that rap like that. He got to laugh after every verse. <laughs> 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 then I'll consider it. You know. <laughs> nah, it's gonna be it's gonna be Lil Yachty smashing your mom. He gonna come oh my god. Boom. He gonna bring you hella Nautica shirts because he's like, yeah, I still got a plug at Nautica. He gonna give right. you all Nautica shirts and jackets. <laughs> Hey, what if it was a rapper that fell off, like P.D. Pablo just piping your mama down? Uh, <laughs> what if it was and he Skilo? in the room like, no, she says, like, what you know about Skilo? Did you say Skilo? Yes, what if it was Skilo? You know, he I wish like, I was a little part. bit, well, he's humble, so I can fuck with Skilo. He's humble, you know what I mean? <laughs> I wish, I, I, wish I, I wish I was a little bit taller. Wish I was a baller. Wish I had a girl who. That's so humility. Only humble rappers. Nigga, he, huh? gonna, he gonna come to the house blasting that and still got that hatchback. <laughs> the '91 Rabbit hatchback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. That's what? retarded, man. Yeah, uh, that would be hard. That nigga gonna have your mom at, at late night concerts, <laughs> at Western nigga, at two in the morning. What if and Marilyn Manson was hitting your mom? Oh, hell no. <laughs> At that point, you got to stop talking to your mom. He's hitting my mom and himself. <laughs> you just stop talking to your mom if that's the case. Yeah, hey, he in there. Man, that, that was, that was, that's worse than a rapper, you don't think? I don't know. Because, you know, we weird like that. We, we would almost rather, like, talking to somebody white is almost like talking to somebody older in our eyes. But talking right. to a new young rapper, you'd be like, what the fuck are you out here doing? My mama named Emma. It ain't no nigga that need to struggle with an Emma Jean, bro. No, yeah. Emma. You know Emma? My mama name is Emma Jean, my nigga. Like, don't don't no young nigga want an Emma Jean. They can't handle an Emma Jean. I don't even yeah. think they make Emma Jeans anymore. They don't. They they retired Emma. Emma was retired in the summer of '87. <laughs> I don't know one young Emma. Hey, what nah, happened to no. double names though? Hey, hey you know a nigga gonna make a rhyme about Emma to hear. You say what? You know a nigga gonna make Emma rhyme with something. Oh yeah, I'm ready for it. I know the com the comments. They they do what they do. I expect that. Who are they? Got an old that? chick named Anna. I love to go Anna. Ooh, <laughs> winner. <laughs> yeah, nigga, a nigga, winner. I'm a winner. I think that I'm part is worse. Thought he is a tender. No, that would be worse if your mom was dating a rapper and then like he made a song about her and was oh. like talking about her. Oh my god. You know the song going platinum. If the song went viral and that was a dance for two, got up and say Emma. <laughs> well, at least they got their own bar. Imagine if your mom imagine if your mom was in that list that DMX dropped. Remember? It was like, uh, yeah, he he yeah that. right. It's just like mom. Oh, no, it would be terrible because my mom is Korean mom? and her name is Sungum. So in between oh. Alicia and Alicia Sungum. and Sungum, I'd be like, "What?" Sungum, hey, uh, like Sungum style. They doesn't style. make a rap about Sungum. Yeah, my uncle's name is E Honda. No. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's name is Sungum. Is she from right, North so Korea or South Korea? What, what are we going with? What's worse, best mm. friend dating your ex or a rapper dating your mom? Uh, rapper dating I'm, your parents. I'm gonna say best friend dating your ex because no matter what your mom does, your mom is still your mom. Like you never gonna you never gonna leave your mama, right? It's your mom. Your but mom your best is friend your future fucking with her. That much I can tell you for sure. 
It's, no, that's still your mom, but now no, your mom you got a verse. Her, you stop calling her mama, you got to start calling her by her first name and she start fucking with future. Nah, I think it's worse if you're, I think, I think the benefits are better if your mom. It depends on the, the rapper too. If it was Kendrick, I'd be like, hey, Kendrick, what's up? <laughs> 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 yeah, right. yeah like, I think it's worse if your best friend dates your ex, because then your best friend can't really, you can't really talk about your, you and your best friend can't really talk about your ex. Like, that's a part y'all got to keep out of it. Y'all can't really. You know what I'm saying? Because you're supposed to talk about everything with your best friend, but now there's a piece of y'all's friendship y'all can't talk about. Back. So Back. I would rather, yeah, I think it's worse for that. Uh, you're supposed to talk about everything with your ex? I didn't know that. Was... No, 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 I'm saying with your best friend. Best you know, friend, that's like your best homie. Best that's like your, yeah. you know. With your best friend, you share things you don't even share with your mom. You know that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Like, so yeah. I would rather, I think it's worse if your best friend uh, goes with your ex. Shane, uh-huh. I feel the same. I'm going to be hot. My best friend smashed my ex. I don't care, nigga. Like, we got to fade. First, we got to fight, and then we going to cancel our friendship like an HBO Max subscription. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. All right, what about you, Chris? No, same here, bro. The the, the, the best friend uh, dating my ex, bro. Fuck that. Fuck that. You know what I mean? I, I, it, ain't, it ain't worth it. My mom, bro, she's going to do whatever she want to do, man. It's, a, it's like, like, if she's dating future, she's she just going to do what All she right. wants to do. So it's like, hey, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> okay. Give me, give me, give, me, uh, give me a feature. <laughs> or interlude, an interlude. Huh? Craig, yeah, which one's too. worse? Man, for me, I think it would have to be the mom thing. If my mom was dating too short, I'm calling my mom mom and too short calling her bitch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that change, that changes everything <laughs> for me, man. <laughs> I love my mom. I love my mama more than anything on this planet until I, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, it's got to be the mom dating the rapper. Okay. What about you, Pat? Damn. I I agree. Mom's over everything. I think the best friend thing you can get you can get over that if, unless you're like in love with the girl, but not that big of a deal. If your mom's dating Uncle Luke, that's that's the whole problem. Uh huh. I think well, I would what if your mom fucking Talib Kweli? I don't like Talib Kweli. He was she was But you get talk. knowledge. That nigga stood. <laughs> my mom's still with my dad, so either way, it's weird. Yes, yeah, so he's getting knowledge too from <laughs> your mama, bro. Uh, we talk about hypothetical. Pat. I'm still your mom I'm cute, Pat. She could pull anybody. I know. That's why I don't. I don't want no. I don't want no Uncle Luke around her. You know that what if a, it's what if it's young thug? You like him? There's a photo circulating around the internet. It's like Uncle Luke and his homies back in the day. It was like like Freaknik, and they're all like opening this girl's butthole. And it the caption was like, "This is somebody's mom." Right. <laughs> right oh. Don't let that be you guys. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think I might go with the, the best friend thing only because like my mom is grown and she going she go like it, it's nothing I could do if my mom want to do it. She's just gonna take that pipe. Like she is like it's nothing I could do about it. So how do you talk like that when? <laughs> Here, this is the she gonna tell you. She gonna tell you to shut the hell up. She gonna I mean, take the pipe. She gonna. Hey, you get mom, niggas turned on by your mama, bro. She you like toxic she, niggas. Huh? She just my mama, my mama, pipe. short from the Midwest. She got th- thighs and hips. My mama just gonna be throwing that thing back on that young pipe, and ain't nothing I can do about that. Wow. Man, so you really? Yeah, my mama like got ass. ass. Is what he just said. <laughs> Why are you advertising? <laughs> my mama got ass. Is what he just said. <laughs> You see how I'm, look, y'all see how I'm saying about how Pat ain't stopped moving the whole time. Pat was just in the pantry. He was just sitting on the couch. Now he's sitting on top of the couch. This nigga don't know how to act with this new hair, man. You hear, got ADD. Uh, you know that. I'm to a hear, child. I'm sorry. To hear me in the barbershop uh, showing niggas pictures of his mama's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas, my mama ass. ass. Hey, nigga, I didn't pay for a haircut none while I was at that barbershop too, nigga. Yeah, they call her Emma. <laughs> that nigga Pat stupid. It's my, my mama, mama right said here, to show you these. Mama. Yeah, this is yeah. This is Donna, this is Donna right here. I want a number nine on the poster. And my mama said to show you this. <laughs> yeah, my mom told me. Think back at the house. <laughs> hey, that's number twenty-five. Oh, that's my mom said to show you that. <laughs> <laughs> my mom said to show you. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. She said you got to you yeah, pat you got to pat your pockets first when the barber asks for the money. Oh shit! Mom <laughs> told me to show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, what? I got. It looks money. like it looks like the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my mom told me to tell you ninety-six. The ex would be worse in this scenarios. Uh, in this scenario, so we gonna get right into the second topic. 
right after this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tahir Moore, and I want to let you know that this episode of Squadcast is sponsored in part by Hawthorne. Now, I know some of you guys have heard me talk about Hawthorne and why I love it, but I'm going to remind you and tell all the first-time listeners what's going on. Listen, I love to smell good, okay? It's something I strive to do every day. I use cologne in the shower. That's how committed I am to smelling good, okay? I know it's obsessive. I know I, know I don't have to go that extra mile, but I do it, okay? Smelling good is important. Smelling really good is what Hawthorne helps you do. And they do it in a way that I have never seen done before. Super, super, super smooth, super simple, super genius. Hawthorne gives you a two-minute quiz. That's it. This is a two-minute quiz to find out who you are as a person. Get you a personal smell, a personal scent, something made just for you. And it's not just cologne. They have body wash. They have lotions. They have deodorant. They have shampoo. They have conditioner. You have an array of products to choose from to help you keep smelling great. And ladies, you can take advantage of this for the guys too. This is where a little goes a long way. You can get him uh, a credit for Hawthorne and he can take the quiz on his own. They can send him the scents. Here's the thing. With us being locked down right now, it's not a whole lot we can look forward to. However, getting something in the mail, something that you really want, something that makes you smell good, enhances who you are, makes you feel good on a day-to-day -day basis, oh. There's nothing like it. And that's what great cologne is to me. So if you want to take advantage right now and smell your absolute best, I encourage you to head on over to Hawthorne.co. That's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E. Hawthorne with the E dot co. C-O. Use our promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and get 10% off your purchase. That's right, 10% off your purchase. So again, head on over to Hawthorne.co. Use our promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and start smelling great because you're getting 10% off of your first purchase, and that's on your boy. Holla at me. Coming right back, second topic we have. What is the worst side, coleslaw or blue box mac and cheese? Coleslaw, man. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the worst side in the history yeah. of sides, man. Coleslaw is raw cabbage and mayonnaise. Watery look, mayonnaise. I, look, I, I like coleslaw, but compared to mac and cheese, it has it, coleslaw is the worst for sure. Really? Oh, I'm gonna oh, tell you that coleslaw. that blue box got me through college. Okay, that when it, once they start making the microwavable kind, that's all I ate every day. The blue box. Hey, blue box ain't bad. It's not. Oh, yeah, no, it's you fire. can doctor it up. Fire. You can doctor it up. You Cold put some sausages shock. in it? Man, that thing is the thing. Y'all yeah. so, so, saying that y'all never had good coleslaw? Like, never, ever? man. No, I'm not saying I like coleslaw. I'm just saying like it, it versus mac and cheese. I'm going to go coleslaw is the worst. That's Plus, like, everybody know coleslaw got coals in it. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, coleslaw is trash, man. I, whoever I've had, made I've, I've definitely had way... <laughs> I've had bad coleslaw way more than I've had good coleslaw, but the good coleslaw I had was fire. What was the difference? Think, huh? It was, I don't know, it was like sweeter. It was, the cabbage was softer. I don't know. Churches. Was, Where was, was you churches. at? Yeah. Uh, churches or KFC? Usually I was at a, like a barbecue or something. Somebody made it. It wasn't. Oh, so it was homemade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. how they make coleslaw? How? Somebody eats a salad and then they throw it back up and they put mayonnaise on it. That's how they make coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what it looked like. like. I, you but know I, what? I tried to bite into a head of cabbage, like that, 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 the spit right there. Yeah, it is. Bro, and I, and I purposely try coleslaw like every three or four years, hoping that mm. I like it and nothing happens. just never, yeah. yeah. And people do things like try to put raisins and walnuts, and it just never really uh, works. I'm low key, though. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I've had some white coleslaw. With like the pecans in it and some cranberries, and I was like just disgusted at even the sight and the idea of it. And tried it was like wasn't half bad. Right. Wasn't right. half bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would never but do. But you it. that I type would... of nigga though. What open minded nigga? <laughs> no, you a cold slaw ass nigga. What is it? Uh, cold slaw or cold slaw? Cold. B o l e. Cold. 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 Okay. Yeah. Old oh, right. slaw. That shit is yeah. old. It's for old. Right. People. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. For sure. Have you ever oh. seen an old person eat coleslaw? Like <laughs> eating it and shoveling it in their mouth and they don't eat it. They drink that shit. 
<laughs> hey, name. low key, there's been some good coleslaw on like a chicken sandwich. Have you guys ever had it on a sandwich? I've had a good. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. The, only, that's the only. But that's the meat, meat yeah. making it better. Yeah. It ain't the coleslaw. Exactly. Like, like, but it's still a good garnish. Uh, on like a mm. fried chicken. Okay, sandwich. but would you rather have coleslaw on a burger or <laughs> the macaroni and cheese? I'm gonna pick that macaroni and cheese. I don't know, cause you you oh, yeah. have it on a on a sandwich. It's a it's a fire ass chicken sandwich or it's a fire ass barbecue sandwich. <laughs> right. And I'd rather have that on the on the chicken or the barbecue sandwich rather than like blue box macaroni and cheese. Blue yeah, box macaroni and cheese is just hella watery too. Like Mac and cheese on burgers don't really hit the same. But that's, that's why you gotta uh, put real cheese in it to hear. But we said yeah. out, you put real cheese in the blue box. Yes. Yeah, they just take I the never noodles did that. and they put real cheese in. You there. gotta so make it like cheese. real. You gotta make it as close to regular. Break mac it down, and Teddy. Break it down, Teddy. You can't. You can't listen. If your cheese is a powder, my nigga, it's nothing you can do to fix it. You just okay? Can't. I threw the powder in there, right? Right. Yeah. Now I grated up some cheese that had got kind of hard, but it ain't molded yet from the back yep. of the fridge. Okay. okay. So oh, yeah. I, I I shredded that up, I grated that, and put that in there. Mm -hmm. Now we got that cheesy consistency right, where it's cooling, right. it's spreading. Right. Now right. if I really want to top it off with some bacon, uh huh, you know, right. Now you right. want me to believe, you want me to believe one that you actually took the time to grate some cheese, which is bullshit. <laughs> then you want me to believe that you actually <laughs> let that bacon sit and then broke it up into bits before actually eating it. Which I also call bullshit. <laughs> okay. I've done this before. To hear Let me yes. tell you something, bro. Honestly, I believe Teddy, bro. I believe Teddy fucks up a custom mac and cheese bowl. I, I believe it might, it might, it might get like that in his stomach. But I think he ate them individually. I think he ate that bacon by himself, by itself. Yeah. I don't see that nigga taking the time to grade up no 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 old cheese. Don't cheap. do that I to him. him do it. Nah, I, bro, I, I just took I, the I, time Loki, yesterday Loki, to boil an egg for a couple noodles, my nigga. Ooh, oh, he made. Oh, you. wow! That's that is like like it was some real ramen, my nigga. Like That's yeah. attention to detail, right there, man. See, I don't know. I would never boil an egg for the ramen. I just, I just put it in the water. Right after the noodles done, the heat will cook it right crack there. That so egg in there. there. Yeah, just crack that egg in there. You ain't got to boil it. What, what else you do, Teddy? Uh, Y'all do realize coleslaw is not only. Uh, shredded cabbage and mayonnaise, but also a sweetener, usually sugar. Yeah, sugar. Right. Yeah, yeah that's why it's look sweet. up any recipe for coleslaw. Coleslaw got sugar or honey or some sweetener. It's yeah, disgusting. I'm not. I'm not mad that's at crazy. that. I'm not mad at that. Most like salad dressing that. has sugar in it too, Meg. That's why they right. you're gonna lose weight. Hey, but not with like I don't want no mayonnaise and cabbage and sugar. Why not? Black people love mayonnaise. I don't know where we got this rap from that we don't love it. If you gonna no, put mayonnaise, with cabbage hold on, wait, wait, and wait, sugar. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, just stop being, just stop interrupting. I know it's hard for you, but listen. If you would eat a, a burger or a chicken sandwich with lettuce and mayo, mayo on it, what's the difference from eating coleslaw? Sugar. I don't want and sugar and mayonnaise and cabbage. And it's in a cup by itself, and the cup is usually soggy. To hear no, it's not. Huh. Well, it's not. That is true, though. Cole's I, I, who gave us the uh, the rap of not liking mayonnaise? Was it Undercover Brother? Who started? Uh, nah, niggas been not fucking with mayonnaise. <laughs> hey, I've been, I've been, been fucking with mayonnaise on yeah. our sandwiches. Yeah. Mayonnaise, oh. Oh. mayonnaise niggas, is fire. Niggas will, niggas will ask for tomatoes be taken off their burger before they say no mayo. Real right. spit. Like mayonnaise. Yeah. I love mayonnaise. I don't know where this rap came from, so it's I ain't buying it. I gotta have mayonnaise in a sandwich. Like I have mayonnaise. to have yeah. mayonnaise. Yeah, uh, mayo's listen, mandatory. Listen, if, you, if you came up broke and you didn't always have cheese at your house, that mayonnaise was the saving grace for that sandwich. That's what made it edible. It gave Indeed. you a little, a little layer between that bread and that meat was yeah. that mayo, and that's what made it slap different. Well, I, need. I agree. But sometimes it would be a little tart. That's me. That's because that it's spoiled. That mayo or that, that, spoiled. that meat is spoiled. Oh, <laughs> they need to get rid of that. If it's brown, Teddy, you ain't supposed to eat it. But listen, yeah. that nigga, <laughs> did you finish it, though? Yeah, you just, I like, I think the, the number, the number the on the mayonnaise is the is the expiration date, not the. Yeah, like, I, like, I thought that was the birth date. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Teddy, 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 don't eat that I mayo. That was the level of mayonnaise. I thought this was a three thousand eight hundred. I'm playing miracle whip anyway, bro. I, after having, having, after, no, after having um, 
Like, like, Heroin like, over mayo any day. It's a Say sweet what? mayonnaise, bro. It's a sweet mayonnaise. It's like what sugar is it? added in mayonnaise. That's what it tastes like—a sweet mayonnaise. Bro. It's sugar and mayonnaise. That's what Miracle Whip is. To me, it tastes. Yeah, to me, it tastes like it's sugar a sugar in it. I love it's Miracle Whip. I, I didn't know it had sugar, and that's why I'm learning. See, I, 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 I love Miracle Whip. I don't know about that. It probably got brown sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> and here's here's a, here's the thing. Here's another thing about Blue Box macaroni and cheese, bro. Like after you have Velveeta, even Fire. Velveeta shells and cheese, you can't go back to Blue Box. Like that's just that's just that's just living in the past, bro. Once you know better, you gotta do better. You can't Blue just be going. Blue box is okay. It's not okay, Pat. You know it's not. What a- to hear? You can't act like you did not eat a lot of that when you was a kid. I, I actually didn't. I grew up so because I, because I grew up with so many people in the household. My grandma like that. It would have cost so much to do that. So she got like the the one dollar boxes of rice, like rice aroni, and just. Did a whole lot of that, but that blue box was like three dollars box. We wasn't doing that. What? That blo- that's like a dollar fifty. Not that it wasn't back then. Like three dollars. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That rice, and, that rice and roni treat was a dollar a box. So that's it. What sure was. That we was getting that. Oh, it was San right. Francisco yeah. treat. Yeah, it was ten for ten, my nigga. We was doing that. We wasn't doing hey, that. Hey, remember when they came out with the rice and roni, but with the noodles? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, that was fire, bro. That, that, was, that was when they started coming out with the, the hamburger helper, and they had the tuna helper, and they had the chicken helper. The tuna helper. Fire. Oh. Yeah, the macaroni hamburger helper. Hamburger helper. The cheeseburger one. The one. Oh, my God. Woo! Go on, my love that glove. That's strong enough for slapping, Teddy. That's strong enough, boy. Yeah. That glove mascot uh, and the hamburger helper, bro. That's my hero, bro. The, the, I, I'm here. The, the cheeseburger. Pie. He was like, "Hi, I'm here." <laughs> hey, you know, I just bro, found. I just found out what cold means. Y'all know what cold means? It's a Latin word. You know what it means? You'll never uh, guess. For coleslaw, cola. What it mean? Cold mean cabbage. I never know. I never knew that. Oh, nice. So it's cabbage slaw. It's coal is Latin for cabbage. What is oh, slaw? I don't know. I got to look up what slaw is. Let me look uh, up slaw. Like slaw is of- terrible. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. I like broccoli slaw. <laughs> broccoli slaw? Oh, wow. That's good. You put it on um, tacos, it's actually fire. Oh, so slaw is, is actually a, it's its own it's thing. It's like a cut, yeah, like cut up like vegetables. Uh, mm-hmm. leafy. It might just be like a tossed salad or something, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's, I think it's the way you chop it. Like it's supposed to be really thin slices. Oh, okay. I think that's all. Oh, slaw is a method of 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 slicing. Is that what you're saying? Be saying stuff like she knew it already, but she reading yeah. it at the same time. No, I'm no, I'm Brian, telling you, she you know, all good. Man. No, that's <laughs> you. I'm, I'm telling you, you, that's what a slaw is. Because there's broccoli oh, slaw, there's and then the oh. there's a bunch of different types, and they all just really thin. Oh, okay. You just learned that thirty seconds ago. Yeah. Shut up. Stop no, I'm telling, telling you, I, I've had it. I'm Meg sick of you. Shut up to hear. I don't like the way Pat's smiling at the camera. Stop. No, bro. I, was, I was reading. I was I was looking up what slaw was. Uh huh. What is what is slaw, man? What is every every definition I saw? It just said coleslaw. It, it's like short or informal for coleslaw. Oh wow! I didn't find a singular definition for slaw. Did it say terrible at some point? Like this is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Shitty salad. That's what slaw means. Shitty salad. <laughs> coleslaw is terrible though. But it's- I will, like I said, I will admit that I've had way, uh, I've had bad coleslaw way more than I've had good coleslaw. However. Every blue box macaroni is trash to me. Everyone. What is it about the slaw? Is it the texture of the cabbage? Think, or yeah, it... I don't think people like the slimy, well, not slimy, it shouldn't be slimy, but the wateriness of it. Right. I don't think right. that because mm. it runs like and it'll touch everything on your plate. Right. That's really what fuck it up. Mm. But it's not a bad you put taste coleslaw. Taste. It's just usually you're if eating. If you have coleslaw in a eating. separate cup that it's in. You know what I'm saying? Like we, you like uh, church, uh, KFC churches, whatever, and it stays in that cup. It's fire, bro. I but like I it. can't tell you how many cups of coleslaw my family has thrown away. Right. Yeah. There's another thing. Just whole cups. Out, Usually, when you're eating coleslaw, everything else you're eating is a warm temperature food: barbecue, mm. hot dogs, hamburgers. The mac and cheese, whatever else, spaghetti, everything else is warm, and then you get to the coleslaw, you be like, this, this is nasty. But no, because that doesn't make sense. Because that's like potato salad is cold, and we like that. Right, I you always say potato salad trash too. Most people like you know it. Who made it? Yeah, but that goes against your hot cold thing. 
But, right. if you, but I'm saying though, most people like I. If you get and I need a cold beverage to go along with this hot ass meal. But that's different. That's a beverage though. I was gonna say this to you honestly. This is what it is for me when it comes to coleslaw. Cabbage before it is cooked and it's like regular raw form is bitter. <laughs> It is bitter, and so you're taking raw cabbage, you just slicing it, and you putting mayonnaise and sugar and some salt and pepper in it. That That's is what is nasty. Sugar, until you cook it cabbage, good. it don't taste good. The coleslaw, I need it to be cold. Warm coleslaw, just throw that shit away. It needs to be cold. It needs to be uh, wet, whatever the juice is, whatever it's in. Uh, uh, I'm freaky ass. You care. I have all my shit wet, okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 wet, nigga. Drown my shit, man. Drown all my shit, man. If I eat it, man. <laughs> Gotta have my shit. Soggy man. my shit, man. Soggy it, man. <laughs> Gotta have my shit. Wet. Hey, Spit on it. The inter- <laughs> sandwich in the pool, man. If I eat it, man. <laughs> the interesting thing. The interesting thing about coleslaw is that it's not the cabbage, it's not the carrots, it's not the preparation. It's not anything specific because it all comes different and everybody doesn't like it. So right. it must just be the coleslaw yeah. itself. It's, it's like the nigger of size. Nobody likes it. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> no, I don't care about getting canceled. Oh, no, man. Oh, man. Don't <laughs> express uh, those individuals solely not as a company. <laughs> Wow. I'm saying coleslaw is like us. It's a metaphor for us, black wow. people. Wow. Wow. Nah, you can both by yourself, man. No, no. All my That's friends like me, nigga. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> That's <laughs> <fun. laughs> if they're yeah. black friends, but what about your white friends? Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm joking, like man. Me, uh, have y'all ever heard that song by uh by uh, uh fuck? What's the guy from the Beatles? Uh John Lennon called Woman is the nigger of the world. Yeah. No way. Pat, this you please go listen to the song. This is a guy who was trying to do the right thing, trying to, you know, but it just he missed. Yeah. <laughs> I need I need you guys to listen to the song. Of the world. Yeah, that's the hook. The, the Beatles tried to relate to black people <laughs> a couple times. And sometimes it worked. Blackbird was about Paul McCartney's black girlfriend. That was yeah. Woman no. is the nigger of the world. Did not. <laughs> hey, to hear you are an eclectic thinker. You have to listen to the song so we can talk about wow. it one day, bro. We need to bro. do a song fails because there are some songs that have been created. I was in tears the other day just listening to shit. Man. The gang banging right. one by exactly. Smokey Robinson. Oh yeah, the, hilarious. <laughs> hey, hey Death Row, Death Row, Row. Death Row had a Christmas album. A Christmas album. Have you guys never heard the Death Row Christmas album? Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, uh, it was, Santa but it was fire though. Santa Claus in the ghetto. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. It's really? been that shit was hard. That's a classic. That's it was, it was no, it, it, no, it wasn't that, terrible. I play that every Christmas. No, it's fire. Every Christmas. Oh, really exists, bro. Yeah, it does, man. Wow, it does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you up on some more stuff, Pat. I'm gonna give you an hour worth of travesties. Musical travesties. You're gonna be like, wow! I just and they, they spelled it with the hard That's R too, true. right? The hard. They used the N I G G E R version too. They yeah. was they was really out. Okay. Hard, there, there's a man on YouTube who has a page with millions of views on each video, and it's a each video is a dog bark Christmas album where he had dog barks different. Dogs barking different Christmas songs, man. Jingle bells, bruh. <laughs> you, that's bro. That's Loki talented, though. bro. No, 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 no. Some niggas are low key insane <laughs> because I remember I did a tour of a studio, like a music studio, uh, a couple years ago. Y'all know? Did y'all ever watch Entourage? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah. the you know the nigga Vince? Yep, <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. He's like a super environmentalist, right? He had just left. And the engineer said that he was doing a whole album all of whale sounds. You know, whale <laughs> <laughs> you know how whales make sounds. Wait, it was like beat. <laughs> just like oh, oh, oh my, that's crazy. he'd make the beat like a like a like a ambient beat and then play the whale sounds. It was like a full album, and I was like, yo, wow, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but just imagine he he go platinum off well. <laughs> That'd be great. He gets an Emmy. 
<laughs> but they do call singing wailing in certain places, right? Right? No, nothing. See, he's 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 ahead of his time. No, but that's W A I L. Okay, completely different. Well, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do yeah. some type of correlation, bro. I tried. I tried. That's crazy. Say, but maybe that's what they call it. Yeah. <laughs> It's some retarded motherfuckers yeah, out here, man. Let's, I promise let's, you. Let's put it to a vote, man. Um, <laughs> what's, what's the worst side? Coleslaw or a blue box mac and cheese? Coleslaw. 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 Everybody say coleslaw. Coleslaw, yeah. man. What'd you say, Chris? Come coleslaw, on, bro. Don't let me. Cold world. Coleslaw. And I'm going blue box mac and cheese. I There's no way. I, I just said it was a way, Nick. No <laughs> I got your map right here. I just said it was a way. Wait, hear. if I gave you a bowl of coleslaw and blue box, you would eat the coleslaw first? I would, absolutely. That's that's how much I disdain I have for blue box mac and cheese. That's because you got horse teeth. So you yeah, he has, he has plant eater teeth. That's why. <laughs> Shut up, both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that <laughs> was, was a plant eater dinosaur. Megasaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, man. Uh, so here's a backup dancer for DoorDash. It don't even mean nothing. It, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't mean anything. But I don't just, know why it be working. I don't know why it works when it works that way. <laughs> he got a write up at the job because they got him on camera and not not dashing. <laughs> You gotta dash when you drop the food off the here. You just walk away. <laughs> dash. <laughs> Be like, oh boy, that was in the middle of that drive by. That was the craziest thing, dog. He still got that food off, dog. Oh, that was wild, bro. And they really he, didn't let him inside real quick until they <laughs> calmed down. That nigga really dashed to the car. He, he did he, not let him inside. He bro. didn't get on the floor or nothing. I'm like, you're supposed to jump, you're supposed to go to the floor immediately when gunshots ring out, man. He said, But that's big nigga shit. Food. We don't want to hit the floor. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. See, not, not only that, that would be floor dash, Craig. He <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Hey, hey, I like that one. I like that one to hear. I like that one, bro. That I like that so one. corny. I like that one. <laughs> hey, you guys, that is a sketch, man. If we don't do a sketch about a, a door dash nigga that don't dash, I promise you, <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> If we're not dashing, <laughs> you just stood right here. You didn't dash. That's, that's funny. That is hilarious. That's hilarious. Man. All right, let's get on to this last and final topic. What would be worse, living in a world with werewolves or a world with zombies? Hella hypothetical. That's hard. Oh, no, no, no. It's not that hard. It's not that hard because you really just have to prep for nighttime. Every, That's what I'm saying. Actually, exactly. every other night with exactly. werewolves. Exactly. Wait, why? Because every werewolves only happen during full moons. A a right. Other than that, the humans are coherent. A lot of times they don't want to turn or they're trying to force themselves into a reason. Like, I've never seen a werewolf that was like, yeah, let me get in this crowded place because it's a full moon tonight and I can fuck everybody up. Like, right. Right. they're usually like, I'm, I'm scared. I don't want anybody to know. So like, like really my, Michael to, Jackson really wanted to have a nice day and end it very nicely. It was a full moon. <laughs> so then he was like, he should have known that. He should have oh, been on the, oh, on the oh, list. Oh, he should have oh, been on the, the list. <laughs> Of the album, <laughs> but wait, was he a werewolf or was he a zombie? Because it was a werewolf. zombie. He was a werewolf. Oh, he was a werewolf. Yeah. So, was so it would be better to have werewolves, bro. Because I wouldn't go with zombies, bro. They're just all over. The, they're there during the day, just walking. Daytime, yeah. And, and they be hooping sometimes. So just yeah. imagine a whole werewolf. Yeah, thing. werewolves be hooping. What you mean? They, they got wolf. fleas, though, man. They got fleas. <laughs> they got fleas. And look. In a world full of zombies, you don't need no car insurance because everybody's dead already. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. <laughs> what? I you don't need no insurance. You, you don't need no life insurance. No, My bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. You don't need no life insurance, car, no insurance, bro. You can just do everything freely if everybody's a zombie. You know what I'm saying? I feel like with werewolves, you could walk around with like, like, like pure silver on and they wouldn't even fuck with you because they know they'd be able to sense it. Right. So, like, That's their kryptonite? Yeah, right. yeah, you had to kill a you had to kill a werewolf with like a silver bullet. 
and you salt. Around and with salt. Bang on you, then you should be straight. But zombies, like they don't give a fuck. You just got to literally shoot them in the head and cut their head off. There's no other way. But right. when you shoot, when you shoot a, a a werewolf with a silver bullet, is it because they got shot with silver, or they can't even like walk up to silver? I think like because they got shot. It, yeah, if it penetrates their body, like it. I thought, yeah, I thought it has to penetrate their heart or something. Yeah, so I've got silver. No, no, heart, the, the vampires, heart. you have to penetrate their heart. You have to stab uh. a vampire with a stake. But the silver, they they're not supposed to have it anywhere inside of their body. Like, don't hey. forget their well, other then, kryptonite yeah, though. Werewolves have have another kryptonite salt. People don't know that salt oh. is not the silver bullet. Yeah, they can't. If you sprinkle salt on a werewolf, it'll suck all the moisture out of out of it, and it'll die. Nigga, what Dungeons and Dragons did you get that from? Because I've I'm, never heard that one. I've yeah, heard salt. That. Look it up, man. I'm Craig Facts in this motherfucker, man. I know, man. My cousin what, was where a werewolf. Where can I look that at? My cousin, <laughs> was, you know, that's a my cousin was a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, hey, werewolves came up with salt. Here's the thing. The, the thing about werewolves is, is the price of dog food going to go up if it's werewolves everywhere. You know what I mean? I ain't going to be able to feed my dog. <laughs> no, see, werewolves, are, werewolves are pretty vague. We know everything yeah. about, vague, uh, about like monsters except werewolves. I don't really know too much. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yes, uh, that is true. So yeah. is Team, uh, Jacob uh, Taylor Lautner, dude. Team yeah. Wolf, bro, Jacob Black. Come on. Wait, they, man. And snails don't like salt because of osmosis. Which basically means salt sucks all the water out of their bodies and they die. Yeah. Mm. That's weak. That makes werewolves weak as hell, though. It does, <laughs> right, man. Though, Just walk around like, with salt werewolves don't really want to turn into werewolves. Well, how can they hoop? Because when you hoop, your body produces electrolytes, which are salt, so it'd be Bruh, killing itself. I just right? seen Teen Wolf, my nigga. I didn't base that on nothing factual. <laughs> I didn't even know werewolves existed. I just. <laughs> To yeah. hear you better, you they better say that you'd exist. rather have a world full of werewolves. You got high blood pressure, so they ain't touching you with all that salt in your body. Do, can, 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 <laughs> can it be a Shih Tzu werewolf, like a like a toy werewolf, <laughs> or does it got to be a full grown? It's a teacup werewolf. Hilarious <laughs> werewolf. It says holy water and crosses are for vampires, not werewolves. So they don't right. give a damn about that. Hey, you can, can, hey, can it, hey, so if there's a little person who's a werewolf. Does that make him a chihuahua? Yeah, that's a teacup. <laughs> wow. That's a teacup werewolf. You, <laughs> that's a little werewolf you can carry around tear, in the little bags. Tear. Does that make know. you an English bulldog? If you were a <laughs> Damn. I mean, honestly, the fact that were werewolves um, only come out in full moons, which are like every now and then, and they have a, salt, a salty weakness, right. zombies all day. Oh, I think all we got to do is just leave a gang of salt out. Let's keep it 100, man. Werewolf come out every once in a while. Salt is bad for us diet. This is another metaphor for nigga, man. This oh, is man. another. Here we <laughs> go. I be reading shit deep too like that. But Loki, <laughs> hey man, zombies are annoying as shit, bro. They'd be in the way, bro. I feel yeah. like they would just like I'd be wanting to walk around them, like, bro, move, bro. Like they right. would just be like an inconvenience, bro. Why ain't we? How much right. harder it is to kill a werewolf than a zombie. If there was like fifty werewolves as opposed to fifty zombies, fifty werewolves would fuck something up. Oh, yeah, definitely. They're fast, much they faster than zombies. Well, it depends on which zombies we talking. We talking Walking Dead zombies, yes. We talking World War Z zombies, nigga. No, yeah. them zombies. No, they had, they had, they had, had World War Z. It was Olympic zombies, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Zombies are already dead, bro. Like they're still like, like it takes a lot to fuck them up. You got really. It like, probably stinks a up. lot worse too in a zombie world than it does in a werewolf. World. That's true. And I, I, feel, like that I feel like werewolves would somewhat be on our side. You know, like they become right. a werewolf to fight fucking the zombies. Up. All right, I have a, I have a audible. Oh, yeah. I would want to be my bad. What if the werewolves was a permanent situation like zombies? Does that change anybody's answers? Like it does. Like, like the last, the last full moon that happened, everybody turned into werewolves, and they just been werewolves permanently. They stay, they stay werewolves. Does that change your answer? It does. I would have to really be a werewolf, but I would strongly consider zombie if I was a two ply zombie. Two like, Yeah, because you know that's tissue around them. So I, if it was two ply tissue instead of just regular tissue, that's that's t toilet tissue. That's a mommy. I feel like, I feel like you could. Uh, that's a mommy. A you could tame a werewolf over. <laughs> this nigga really I'm stupid. I was talking about something. Totally different. Were you talking about a mummy for both times? <laughs> right, I was talking about a mummy for ten seconds. Hey, we don't know a lot about mummies either. Mummies and werewolves be getting the glaze over. Right. <laughs> well, isn't that where the? 
If you are a mummy, you are a zombie, though, man, yeah. because there's still the dead rising. Yeah, I believe that's where the concept of mu- of zombies come from is, is from mummies. That's where the concept of well, Yeah, you're right. It's like literally mummies are a geographical zombie. If you're a zombie that was royalty at one point, you a mummy. Right. It's just a regular zombie. Yeah. I never really thought zombies, of them as zombies. I don't feel like you could tame zombies. Like with, with a werewolf, I feel like you could tame it. Like you could put So you're you going to be out there with a whip? And some some some, some, some dog sticks. treats. Yeah, he, if I had a werewolf, not a sick bro. Hey, he gonna start a werewolf dog school, a yeah. werewolf uh, uh, obedience school. <laughs> hey, bro, pause. <laughs> hey, if there were if there were if there were werewolves walking like around that. the same time as like, the same capacity as zombies, I'm switching over to zombies is better. Because if there were just werewolves everywhere, that'd be crazy. They'd be climbing everything and destroying stuff, super strength, all They'd be that. trying to look right. like, they're trying to blend in. They got a Letterman on. <laughs> That's up, hilarious. They <laughs> said blend in with a Letterman. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> that was that was such a dumb movie. I wonder if they, if they would still be able to talk when they're in the werewolf form. You guys keep oh. thinking of Teen Wolf and not of the jump on you and rip you up where we're I'm thinking, thinking of Thriller. That's all I keep thinking about. I'm thinking of under, uh, Underworld. How much would you buy a werewolf puppy for? Uh, two bands. Two G's. Two G's. Yep. Yeah. Same, same here, bro. Two, two G's. G's. You gonna get older and eat the fuck out of you. Why would you even <laughs> That's do that? I wouldn't buy one. Oh, right. you teach it, bro. You, you raise it to love you, bro. Oh, yeah, like, like, you raise like, it to uh, fuck uh, with you. Yeah, like, yeah, that, like a pit bull. Like bull the old girl that the lady raised and then they end up snatching her friend's face off of her face. Yeah. That wasn't her though, it was her friend. Yeah. I don't would know I, you. That would, werewolf is gonna eat you. Would you neuter oh, your werewolf not. or would you allow it to, you know, would you neuter it or spay it or would you allow it to? The thing about werewolves care. is that once they turn, they don't know what they're doing. So they'll kill you. Yeah. Right. They don't care. They don't know what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, they're they're not a werewolf. <clears throat> Shout out to Ke- Cleo Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> You said they're not a, a werewolf. Is that what you just yeah. said? Yeah, they're that not a funny. werewolf. <laughs> oh, Y'all <that's> killing me. <laughs> hey. uh, yeah. Oh, would you man, adopt a werewolf? No, let me stop it. Let me I don't it. know, man. I, 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 I don't know. I, I just say, let's put it to it. Let's just put it to a vote and see, see, see what y'all say. Would you put your werewolf in a dog show? Like you know how they be doing a dog show. <laughs> And what are, are we going? Are, with, they walking like hella nice. <laughs> Which, <laughs> first, oh, what if you did have like three werewolves in your house? You gotta walk these niggas every full moon. <laughs> every full moon. And they gotta it's gonna be big as hell too, bro. Right. Ain't gonna be like a, like a regular dog. Oh, shit, hey, like hey, 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 what the werewolves? Kids, but the werewolves. So on, on full moons, you gotta raw walk me, them. raw meat, or uh, humans, people. They yeah. eat humans, right? Yeah. yeah they, no, like, not just they, humans. I thought they ate other animals too. Yeah, how care. about this? How about I take my my werewolves every week to death row or the jail and get round up all the pedophiles and you know yeah. high volume murderers, serial killers, and just have that nigga Make get fucked. I'm that. all for having a werewolf on a pedophile diet. Uh-huh. I'm all for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> hey, that's a whole different level of pedigree. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant, Chris. How you brought all, all that together, man? <laughs> that was that was brilliant, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. yeah. That'd be crazy. So, would they go to the regular barber or would they go to the dog groomer? <laughs> if you want to, pay. if they're human or not, you know. So if it was a girl werewolf, you would get her. Do they have a her. poster that they choose? Like, let me get number sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a girl werewolf, does she get the poodle cut or what kind of <laughs> what kind of cut does the girl I werewolf? Think they all, all hey, would y'all fuck, would y'all fuck a werewolf? Would y'all fuck a werewolf or a zombie? Werewolf. What? I'm werewolf. not hitting no dead coochies, man. <laughs> yeah, so you rather be doing bestiality? I'd rather hit a live coochie than a dead coochie. I don't want. I, 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 so you're a bestiality. In no. a, <laughs> I'm just, it's a word. It's the human stage, man. Uh-uh. You said what? You said bestiality or necrophilia. That's basically. Uh, technically, right. they're like, they're really just, they're humans, but they just become werewolf in the face. Again, Does a werewolf have an ass? <laughs> that would be weird to see a werewolf or a zombie <laughs> with an ass. Can you imagine Meg the Stallion? I guarantee you, Meg the Stallion 
was a zombie, there would still be some nigga that'd be like, man, she ain't that dead, though. She yeah. like, man, move this bandage uh-huh. aside. Let me <laughs> She ain't that dead. Oh my gosh. Bro, she ain't that dead, bro. It'd be a lot of niggas moving the bandits to the side if Meg was uh, a. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Hell no. Bro. I it couldn't was... do it. I'd smash out Meg if she was a werewolf, but not as a zombie. Nah, yeah. Smash I mean, out the werewolf? Yeah, if she was a werewolf and like. You she was like, I'm gonna fuck you and then eat you. I'd be like, I'll take that ride. Hey, hey, but let me ask you, <laughs> hey Teddy, which nipple would you suck? Because you know dogs got a lot of nipples. <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably the whichever one is in the middle, like in her middle <laughs> chakra. Okay, oh, middle chakra. Middle that's chakra. What... Yeah, that's middle the chakra. <laughs> her middle chakra nipple. I'm gonna suck wow. that. One. <laughs> Meg, Meg, do you think like a, a guy met Will Meg is not in on this part right here. She is not, not in on it. Like if, <laughs> Idris, if Idris Elba was a, was a werewolf, comedy, Meg, man. would you holler? If Idris yeah. Elba was a, huh? As a werewolf? At, yes, because he's still human. He'd be the only werewolf wearing sandals. That's that what we said. You said it was bestiality. <laughs> No, when he's human. Are you? Oh, you're talking about only when uh, he's post, post, like Michael, J- Michael Jackson, like post werewolf. Trend. That's a werewolf name, Idris. What the fuck is an Idris, nigga? That's a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Idris and Van Helsing. Yeah. Is, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a medieval locksmith. Idris is here to open the <laughs> castle gates. <laughs> what the fuck is an Idris, man? Y'all ain't never asked yourself what the fuck is an Idris? Not on purpose. Oh. He's African, bro. Like, I just be giving it up to like it's an ancestor name. Like. No, I think it just is a Muslim name, like a Middle Eastern name. Is it? I think so. That means she just looked it up. Idris. Whenever Meg has a new idea, she's like, "Oh, I think she already looked it up." And she, oh, I'm it. right. It's it's Welsh and Arabic. Ooh, yeah, she already knew it. She just no, because I, 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 I have a friend. I have a, I no, I'm telling you because I have a friend who's uh, Middle Eastern, and her she named her son Idris. Really. Okay, that means like, that, it okay. sounds like it's a name that's at least a thousand years old. Is what it sounds like. It don't sound like no recent shit. I mean, it's, it's, it's no Emma Jean, but it'll do. Right. <laughs> Hilarious. Hell yeah. Nickname that's what Idris. The said. Idris should have a garage full of wagons. That's the type of name that is, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> horse horse drawn wagons, not like regular yeah, wagons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a horse for these. All right, so yeah. let's put it to a vote. What what would be worse? World full of werewolves or a world full of zombies? Zombies. World full of werewolves. Okay. Zombies. Two on one. I'm going to say the world better. full of zombies because that's stank. All right. Three to one. Is worse or better? What's worse? I would say zombies. Okay. And I'm going to go zombies too. So what is that? Who said werewolves? Don't I said one? werewolves, man. I said oh, so, uh, so it was only one person that said werewolves. So the zombies have it. Uh, you be by yourself, Craig. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how you think you're gonna fight off a herd of zombies, though. I mean, I don't know because small niggas think they can do shit. Yeah, I beat the dog shit out of him. <laughs> but you gonna have to do bite it again. Your again. Nigga, while you try to punch his head off, he'll bite your fist, and now you finna turn. <laughs> yeah, man, it'd be a rough. Either way, we gotta. We, it's a struggle. It's a struggle, man. I just, I don't know, man. I'm, out of all, us six, who do y'all think? If we got bit by a zombie, who wouldn't tell the group? Teddy. Teddy already got bit. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't mean that. That nigga's I got eggs, but I didn't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> no, if a, zo- if, a, if a zombie uh if a zombie bit uh goddamn Teddy, it'd have eczema. It would is that what you're yeah. saying? Okay. Oh, I'm just shut up, man. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. The edible just hit me as I was saying that. My bad. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, hell yeah, I tell. I tell y'all, like, yo, I, I, I got big. Y'all might, y'all might want to get the fuck away from me. So you would just invite your own murder like that? Because you know we got to offer you. Good, I'll leave a bro. note. I'll just leave a note. Y'all find it in the morning. I'll dip on my own. That's that, right. Because I feel like I feel but like. But you don't know zombies. how fast it's gonna happen. What if it happened yeah. in like a two minutes or three minutes and you didn't tell nobody and you were? I'm just saying. I would. I would do it myself. Like I would just jump off a cliff or something myself. I wouldn't want y'all to have that. To it depends on who I'm with. Like if I'm with a shorty and like I got an opportunity to smash real quick, I won't say it until. 
<laughs> after I so you just gonna be all in the pussy shit coughing arm falling off Chris ain't shit Chris the type of nigga slide the condom off, y'all. Y'all see what he is right now. He's oh, for sure. The mummy, he gonna slide the condom off in the mummy. Condoms off the turn me off, bro. Condoms <laughs> fuck it up. I'm for sure sliding that. Oh, my gosh. Wow. You, you think necrophilax is putting condoms on? Hell no. Nah. Them niggas. Uh, you can probably oh, still we... catch. No, you can still catch some STDs from some dead coochie, y'all. <laughs> no, that's been a nah. episode. Nah. A dead STD? Nah. Another episode. Man, that embalming flow. Oh, man, that is graphic, man. Why I can't believe you said that. Wait, y'all sitting here talking about werewolf nipples to suck, and this is graphic? <laughs> <laughs> what that's STD a, would a Z, you catch from a ZTD? A ZTD. <laughs> A ZTD, that's a man. That's, that's another a episode of strong Podcast SD. versus. Thank y'all so much for continuing to send your suggestions to the <laughs> inbox on Instagram. Definitely appreciate it, man. I'd like to thank the guest uh, host for coming on. We got Craig Smith, Teddy Ray, Hi. and Young Chris Sosa in the building. Always a pleasure to work and see Pat and Meg as well. And we will see you guys next week. Peace. Jesus. <laughs> oh y'all niggas is wild.